Willkommen wieder äh, zu einer weiteren Folge von ähm, Indiana Music for Your Tippy mit äh, 1000 Dank wieder an Twin FM und Alex TV. Ähm, wir haben heute bei uns ähm, Teile, Teile der Inside Tracks, äh, die sich The Lo-Fi Duo nennen, die gerade eröffnet haben. Vielen Dank, dass ihr dabei seid. Und äh, zu meiner Rechten, von euch aus gesehen, eurer Linken, ähm, Clark Nova. Und Clark Nova wird auch gleich weitermachen. Wir werden heute im Übrigen ähm, wieder zwischen Englisch und Deutsch springen, wahrscheinlich überwiegend in Englisch, aber ich vertraue auf mein Publikum, das äh, perfektes äh, Englisch sprechen kann. Ja. Ähm, Clark, Ja. wie ja. geht's? Hervorragend. Ja? Ja. Hast du, äh, hast du Lust, äh, gleich mal ja. loszulegen? Ja, ja. würde würd, würd ich. Äh, würd und ich, äh, ich, ich sehe ja. seh auch schon, auf, auf deinem Boden äh, liegt... <lacht> äh, Liegt deine, deine Timeline ja, und du fängst mit Live ja. Complete an? Nee. Nee, fängst du nicht? Nee, nee ich fange an mit, äh, mit großen Fragen großen Fragen und Fragezeichen. Mit den Lieblings-, also meinen Lieblingsfragen genau genommen, die, die, die sich nicht lösen lassen. Also so. Echt? Ja, aber du hast immer, kennst du das nicht, du hast ein Problem, du bist damit konfrontiert ja. und dann hast du so die Entscheidung, entweder drum kümmern oder unter den Teppich kehren. Unter den Teppich kehren und hoffen, dass das Problem weggeht. So, und dann, was machst du, wenn du doof bist? Also du lässt es, du lässt es liegen. Nee, du kümmerst dich drum. Ah, du kannst. <lacht> und, dann, und dann kommt nämlich dann die Stunde der Wahrheit irgendwann. Äh, dann kommt nämlich der Moment, wo du weißt, irgendwie, warum du es lieber unter den Teppich gekehrt hättest, weil du kommst irgendwann auf eine Antwort. Und deswegen gibt es so diese Lieblingsfragen, die mich äh, besonders sind, also die Rätsel, die man einfach nicht lösen kann. Hey, 
It's a riddle I can't solve It's a question that's too much For the better or the worse There's no need for a reply I have cured myself so often I'm from so many things In these good blessed old streets Right here under my feet Was it really made for hunting? Or is haunted this man's life? Keeping up appearances for a riddle we can solve. Holy book, I'm going. Statues actually didn't help a lot. All these beauties of old dance floors finally won't be enough. Now and then I find me. The Trinity of Towns Rake The steadiness of Dickie's Rambler I'm the nail of Tom West Frank It's a riddle I can solve It's a question that's too much Picking up appearances For a riddle we can solve Vielen Dank, Clark. Ähm, das ist Vergnügen. Clark, ähm, theoretisch geht es auch gleich mit dir weiter, aber. Achso, nee, weil ich selbst sportlich bin. Also, das ist nicht immer so lustig, weil, weil unsere, ähm, unsere Gäste, die kennen die Running Order nie. Ja, die wissen nicht genau, was auf sie zukommt. Ähm, aber es geht tatsächlich gleich mit dir weiter. Also, wieder. Ähm, willst du uns aber noch kurz was zu gestern Nacht erzählen? Oder? Oh, gestern? Was war denn gestern? Ja, gestern, gestern, war eigentlich, gestern war eigentlich Mittwoch und äh, daraus wurde dann plötzlich Freitag bei dir, glaube ich, oder? Das passiert manchmal in St. Pauli, das ist wahr. In St. Pa ah, apropos St. Pauli. Sag mal, du, ja. du, du musst doch heute nach, äh, nach Hamburg fahren, habe ich, hab ich gehört, ne? Ich, ich weiß selber nie genau wann, aber ich mache das ganz häufig. Aber du, aber, äh, du hast mir nämlich vorhin erzählt, dass dein Vater, ähm, dass dein Vater so, eine Dunkelkammer gekauft hat. Der hat eine Dunkelkammer hat. gekauft, aber die habe ich in Hamburg schon abgeholt. Ach so. Und äh, die muss ich aber ihm jetzt... Ja, die musst du äh, ihm jetzt bringen. bringen. Nach also, Hessen? Ja. Du fährst ich heute nach Hessen? Ja. Also mal eine andere Autobahn angucken. Ist insofern tragisch, weil die A24 ist mir ganz lieb geworden. Ja, ja. Kenne mittlerweile jeden Zaunpfahl. Und Rasthof Stolpe, da muss man wirklich einfach <lacht> mal Stolpe, muss man einfach mal eine Lanze brechen für den Rasthof Stolpe. Ja. Weil das ist einfach, wer es kennt, der weiß, worum es sich da handelt. Und wer es nicht kennt, der sollte es kennenlernen. Das ist, äh, also irgendwie sagt mir was, aber... Ähm, ist weltberühmt, jeder sagt, kenne ich. Jeder sagt, kenne ich, aber hat keine Ahnung, was ja. da genau passiert. Rast, Rasthof Stolpe hat eine, eine äh, wunderbare... Angelegenheit. Also zum einen, man muss auch draußen rauchen, das ist nicht so gut. Okay. Ähm, hingegen, die Sonne scheint da immer. Es ist immer blauer Himmel. Echt? Immer, immer blauer Himmel? Immer blauer Himmel. Aber, aber sag mal, Scholpe ist aber nicht diese, diese wo, wo diese Currywurst-Leute leben. Ne? Da gibt es so eine Familie, die haben so, eine, so einen Currywurstladen, der einfach rammelvoll ist mit... Ähm ist das der Junge, den die äh, ausgesetzt haben auf, der, auf dem Rasthof Helmstedt? Okay, wir driften ab, wir driften ab. <lacht> Alles klar. Wir machen jetzt auf jeden Fall weiter mit äh, Clark Novas zweiten Song, ja. ähm, der da heißt? Äh, Life Complete. Life Complete. Bitte. Life, life complete. Ich glaube, ich muss ein bisschen spicken. 
ist ja noch sozusagen der erweiterte Teil des frühen Abends und da funktioniert das mit dem Erinnern in, in Stücken immer sozusagen. Alles klar. Also manchmal nur in halben Stücken und die anderen halben, die stehen dann da. Ähm, Life Complete. Ein, ein Lied, das sehr gut mit Bourbon genossen werden kann. Since believing isn't even close to life Even if you're drunk all day I'm woe We hate it was not an era But a life complete I feel the right to ask Whether these days have ended just recently Do they still include this very moment? And there's the girls again They wear kiss on your cheek again And the dry one down Head up high And no hands nor thoughts Underneath no skirts As they might get stiff From the moisture And drink Oh drink and drink My brother dear I will be your friend Don't feel obliged to ask Whether these days have ended Just recently in the dawning hours Of our first day And there's the road again A free ride on a ways again And the jam one down When forgiveness may not be asked for anymore Love will soon seem gone That it's time to buckle up and leave For a lonesome ride And prove the world all wrong And be assured Don't think you're right to ask Whether anything had any other purpose But to be in love with your lover And there's your face again A bright day on yet island And a breakdown down Dankeschön, Clark Nova. Ja, ja, ja. Ähm, <lacht> oh. <lacht> habe ich gerade kurz verschluckt. Ähm, wir springen jetzt äh, zu unseren äh, Freunden, die äh, Lo-Fi-Duo, äh, und springen äh, zu Englisch. Uh, welcome, the Lo-Fi-Duo. Uh, you're actually um, a part of the Inside Tracks, which is uh, your band, but uh, one person is missing, basically. Um, uh, where did I want to start off? I wanted to start off with um, basically with Alan. Alan, you're from sure. you're from Boston originally, yep. and have been in Berlin for how long? Five years. Five years only. Fünf. Fünf. Fünf Jahre. Ja, fünf Jahre. Yeah, fünf Jahre. Uh, so, so how's, how's your German getting on after five years? Uh, not good. <laughs> not good. <laughs> it's, fünf, it's fünf words, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's just one of those languages you don't really want to want to have to learn, right? Well, I, I uh, yeah, you don't really have to. It, yeah. it certainly helps a little bit. Um, I uh, I can understand a little bit. Yeah. And, yeah, it's and, it's always and like get, I can get around. Easier. Yeah. But I'm not comfortable <laughs> conversing with. <it. laughs> we we don't have to today, yeah. luckily. In the mother tongue. And uh, and um, so have, did you actually directly come from Boston to uh, to um, uh, Germany or did you? Yeah, ever... I did. I came from Boston. Yes. And what, what, what was the what was the main the main reason? 
just to do something else or another city with B? No, no, I, uh, relationship. <laughs> oh, okay. The relationship got me here. I, I, I mean, always, it was great, you know, yeah. it, it worked out great. And um, it's a great city, you know, it was a successful excursion. Okay. And, but the excursion um, made you stay, basically, so you're still here. I'm still here. I mean, I go back. I, I, yeah. I did go back for a little bit. Um, I was in New York for a while working. But um, I'm back. Yeah, it's, you know, it's been a nice chunk, half a decade. Definitely, yeah. So, um, and I've met a lot of cool people here, played with a lot of, met Joe. Joe's one of the first people I've met. Oh, here. one of the first people you met. So you didn't know each other before you met in Berlin, no, actually, no. yeah. No, I met him in a in a bookshop, and wow. then I ended That's up nice. we ended up recording together um, on his uh, record with Two Dollar Bash, a band that he yeah. plays with, played with for many years, and still plays with from time to time. Okay. And um, and then you know a handful of people, and then I met a lot of other people. It's great, and 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 basically, kind of like the snowball yeah. effect. You know, you meet one and then musician, and then you you know. Yeah. I know all these guys. Hey, Guido. Hey, Thomas. And uh, and Joe, uh, I I heard you've been here for 18 years, as you told me earlier on. Yeah. And still still loving it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've kind of settled down here now. You settled know, down yeah. here, you know, so it looks like home from now on. Okay. For the you know, for the foreseeable future. Okay, very good. Yeah. Uh, you you and you told me before you were in Prague for a while. Yeah. How, how long were you in Prague for? Um, actually just for about a year but it was a very good year to be there because it was after they had the revolution there Ah, okay so it was a very interesting time to be there and but but were you mainly based in Prague at the time or, or did you did you actually tour loads during that year I was based in Prague at that time okay yeah, so it was just the base. It was a good place to explore the rest of Eastern Europe at that time which was changing yeah. really fast at that time yeah, yeah. I, th I think we'll have to have it we'll have to have a talk uh, uh, with coffee outside of this show someday um anyway Be we um, to have several coffees yeah okay i'll pay I, apparently my stories go on and on so yeah <laughs> the stories will go on you yeah. you can you can sit with us if you want Alan. Yeah. i've heard most <laughs> of heard them before, <laughs> you know all the stories <laughs> no it's it really it's an endless pot but that's fantastic that's, that's exactly nice. what that's exactly what humanity needs better stories yeah um but we're not here for stories are we guido yeah. we are here for music and um stories we're looking for well they are stories yeah musical but musical stories musical stories in a in a yeah in a nicer way <laughs> than just talking um you're up to your next song mm -hmm. which is which one is it joe uh in it the truth okay that is... end of the end of the truth ain't ain't, ain't it, it the, the truth, truth. Ah, okay ain't we had this last time <laughs> you can't translate ain't in, in deutsch okay. ain't. There was a time When I heard every single Little word you said And there was a time Yes. 
said Before the lion Crept in and took a seat I remembered every little beat Ain't it the truth It's time for me To open my eyes wide Ain't it the truth God damn it Ain't it the truth It's time for me To open my eyes wide Ain't it the truth You're wrecking everything We had inside God damn it Ain't it the truth Um, we can basically jump directly to the next song. All right. Um, I think this is Let's this one's called. Dive into it. Yep. What she it? told me. <laughs> this is off a. Uh, this tune's from uh, one of my solo discs that I released in the okay. states uh, in 2010. 2010. So. Okay. It's called "She Told Me." This is the lo fi version of it. Of okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The other one's louder, yeah. She told me. Yeah, right. We're uh, basically on to a, to a small uh, group discussion. Um, and I basically would like to know 
from uh, you guys, you too, Clark. I know you're looking at me with those expectant eyes. Um, what touring is like, like basically, or, or what touring really, really means for you. And, um, and now I've heard like you, you basically settled a bit more like you, for instance, Joe, you've been touring for half of half of or most of your life, haven't you? And now you've been sort of based in Berlin and uh, you haven't really been touring much in the last couple of years. Is, is that is that something that you're missing? Yeah. Do you miss it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> you miss it? Yeah. So, but, so, but, but the, but the main thing now is, is your family and, uh, and you just say, I, I don't want to be on the road, although I miss it. it. It's not so much that there was, there was a band that I played in for many years. The yeah. Band the two dollar band. Exactly. Yeah. And they were always touring and in the last, so, you know, couple of years, yeah. everybody sort of dispersed, everybody lives on different continents now. Oh, even that. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, one friends in Africa, one's in South America. So oh, wow. they're all over the place. Haiti. So. Well, he's in Mali now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It's in Africa. So, uh, you can't, it's difficult hey, to keep Mali, up with this friend. Yeah. He's, he, yeah, he gets around. But um, so it's more its more that. It's rather than a conscious decision. Yeah. Like now has got to be sensible. I think if, if they were still going, I would probably... You'd probably yeah. go off again. Yeah. yeah. That's, a, that's a shame. Really? Yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe maybe something else. Will come but up. something else might, might yeah. come up, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and what about you? you um, when you were still in the US, you were mm. touring a lot. And since you've been here... Any touring going or? Uh, I wasn't really touring a lot, just small no. jaunts, you know, like three, four days here, back. No, no, month out on the road. But but did you stay? Did you stay in in the in the north uh, northeastern region or different parts of the country? Different parts. Yeah. But but did you I was actually based did, out of yeah. you know the New England area? Did you enjoy it though, like yeah, touring? Of course. But but you couldn't imagine. It's a good being, time. It's not a good yeah. time for too many days out. Though. Joe likes it. Yeah. Joe could go out for like 90 with days. The, with the older you get and the more out of practice you get, it could be more difficult to get back into it because yeah. if, you're, if you're on the go for four or five weeks, then it's, yeah. it does take... You kind, of, you kind of move into a different frame of mind and frame of... Your body kind of changes to adjust to this different uh, schedule. You know? Yeah. And, and, and then, and then coming back and home... early mornings yeah. and, you know... You just get comfortable. I mean, you sort of get comfortable you as well. You shift into a different gear. Yeah. yeah. It's great. Yeah. Amazing. It can be a hassle looking to, to, you know, trying to find a nice cup of coffee when you're traveling, <laughs> or or decent food. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, and, and that's and and also a decent place to stay. You know. Yeah. You've got your favorite uh, place uh, on the road, yeah. I I already found yeah, my home home on the road. Yeah. Oh, you mean, you mean the Stolpe that yeah, we just well, mentioned? Yeah, well, that's obviously a good cup of coffee. It's, yeah. it's, it's good <laughs> good to know the good places. Is it a good know. cup of coffee, or is it no, just? It's terrible. Is it where you? Is <laughs> it where you get absolutely wrecked? Absolutely terrible. So usually the the roadhouses in Germany are not good for anything but um, taking a leak. It's, 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 I mean, <laughs> and and not even that. Uh, and not, and and you even f you have to pay for you that. You have to pay for it, that. Yeah. I was just going to say you have to pay. No, it's, it's really cents. crazy. Yeah, uh, seventy now, but you get fifty back if you're lucky. Uh, yeah. If there's, no, if there's nobody the there, sometimes you, you can get the voucher. The voucher. You have to buy coffee for three fifty. Yeah, yeah. I mean. Yeah, and, and, now, and now all musicians have like a stack of vouchers at home, you yeah. know, from these leak yeah. take, taking a leak places. Don't you, Guido? I thought I thought of. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like in the States, we don't have those, these, those you know? people cleaning the bathrooms at the no? re, at the rest stops. L like, there isn't like, somebody standing clean. there like this with a dish. Yeah, that's. Hi, that's also good. I know you're going in to take a leak. Can you? Yeah. yeah. Can you put in some money <laughs> for me to clean it? It's you, kind of, you have minimum wage in it, these days, don't you? Yeah, it's it went up right. though actually recently. Right. I think it's up to almost ten now. Really, to ten? I think it's almost ten. But but uh, like. A couple of years ago, it was only like three fifty or something, or five dollars. No, 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 I think that it was like probably eight, eight-ish. But really? I know that the um, right. I know that they're trying to. I th it might be the hotel workers. I think there's nationally they're trying to bump it up to fifteen dollars an hour. Wow. I believe it's the hotel workers. I, which yeah. that would be mm. pretty fair for minimum wage, but it's a lot more expensive to live in the states than here. Yeah. So I mean, if they, if they went up to fifteen euros here, you wouldn't have any people sitting in front of the toilets anymore. Maybe, <laughs> maybe not. So and and what about what about touring with you? Oh, sometimes I tend to think that touring is the actual reason why 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 I play music because it's, really, it's not. It is. But it is, it yeah. is the actual reason. It is. It is just that's the the time of uh, uh, when I when I feel like Nirvana. like a musician. No, no, it's it's great to travel. I like traveling a lot. Uh, yeah. I like being in the road. Um, but uh, and 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 it's really great that you meet friends everywhere, and 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 to know that there's 
to get this understanding that the world doesn't end at the next corner. Yeah. It just begins there. Yeah. And, and yet another, and then to see how, how different regions, uh, how, how borders become to get blurry, because you realize it's just street after street, town after town, and, and, and yet another person, yet another dialect, and you see how they blend into each other, how there are connections. And, and I, I love to experience that, and I love to experience that. Uh, well, just meeting meeting people, finding lovely people all over the world, all over the place, wherever you go. There's always uh, people who mm. who open their heart, especially when you're traveling and who with welcome music. You, yeah. um, music is a great way to it's people, so meet people. Super. You play, and uh, there's someone taking care of you, fixing you a meal, a bed, yeah. and, and you know, it's just th th those are like the main things: like a, a good meal, good bed, and a decent cup of coffee. Yes. And, uh, Where's the beer come in? Yeah, when does the beer come in? Yeah, You're I was obsessed with beer, man. No, I'm not. About it, yeah? it just, I'm the one with the bottle of water over there. <laughs> it runs in the category coffee. You know, coffee is just uh, it's too early for title. Beer today. No, no. no, yes. not, not, not for your Finnish friends, right? You, I mean, you just told us the story about, about your Finnish friend. <laughs> I don't who, know if I can tell that and, up say and, that in public, but uh, well, those people who met us during the three or four days when Marco and Jana were here, uh, they will remember for a while. <laughs> they, they, remember. So, so, but, but if if it's really lovely to be to be on the road and um, and to meet people and um, and as Joe just mentioned, you know, it's a great way. Music is a great way to meet people and uh, open up their hearts, if if we can put it that way. So, what about home? What about coming back home? Then, is oh. that is that is that the next corner? And then, if, when, once you've done a, a circle, is is, so is there this year? This has changed for me personally, so yeah. it's not not really. Is it relevant? Like the, the concept of home, then to get back somewhere. Well, they say. Um, well, it is important in a way because because you, uh, when you're traveling with a with a band, still you have this social experiment thing. Um, when you're traveling alone, yeah, uh, you also have a social experiment because you <laughs> have no person that you you can build up sort of a relationship that has sort of a duration it's 10 hours sometimes 18 hours and then you won't see that person within the next two or three years again yeah. and there's no constant social contact which you have which makes you really after so the beginning of week two is the first remarkable bit but from week two on you're totally you, you become this strange guy at the gas station you know um, <laughs> the gas station again in <laughs> Stolpe yeah and it's uh, uh, I think maybe if 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 one is touring, uh, uh, if if you if you if you're traveling a lot alone, um, mm. you you may there, there may be the risk of losing something like home. Um, but uh, I, I don't know. I, I've always returned so far. But you've always returned to Berlin, like so. You yeah. so you could say um, that Berlin is yeah. is the the base. Even if if then it's then it's Kreuzberg, then it's more or less the the the, the area I'm living at. Yeah, where it's like a small village, and you go to a coffee, uh, have a coffee, and and you meet people. You just sit down, and there's people walking by, and within a couple of minutes, you've said five hellos, and maybe even had a quick chat. And, yeah. and that's that's what I like a lot. It's something very beautiful about Berlin, especially. Great. Thank you. Um, would you just like to continue then? Yes. With your yeah. third song. Yes. Clark. It is about. I think this one is about smoking. <laughs> okay. Uh, or maybe it is about five. That could be also about five. This song, because um, there's five years in Berlin. There's uh, the Clark Nova Five Two, which is the band um, I'm, I'm happy to play in. Um, I'm so happy I named it after my stage name, uh, <laughs> and, and, Nova and it's good to, to learn German as well, because I have a German uh, question for you, which is uh, only works in English. Um, what comes between fear and sex? What comes between fear and sex? Yeah, and uh, it's got to do with uh, smoking, which is not allowed in restaurants anymore. Um, so you have to go outside, and I figured I need to find a place to smoke which is comfortable, in a way, still stylish. And I figured it is the back of a horse or some animal with hooves. And uh, <laughs> so that's a good good place to start, at least. And and so this song is about more or less that situation. Uh, I'm 
Marines and others, there's like a matricle. I don't give no damn about no doors. Cause if they're locked or if they're not, it is not important to me. If anyone comes, anyone goes, I don't mind. Wouldn't walk a single mile for my brand. Cause I'm smoking any weed that's on my way. But always and settle, they won't come easy. I'm free to won't have a taste kit. If it's cancer that you earn by feeling free. Ace a ticket, went for picnic. With Lucy Hill that day turned 17. Of course, but Lucy, she got infected on that age junkie's life, and I hear him saying, Your suburbs ain't no better place to be. So I'm traveling home with my hands well covered. They won't want me free at all. What I did is considered bad and they'll shoot me in the end It could be worse, it could be worse So I'm rinsing down the stairs like a matricle Don't give no damn about no doors Cause if they're locked or if they're not It is not important to me If anyone comes, anyone goes I don't mind. Woo! Have you found, have you found an answer? <coughs> no. No, it's an easy one. Wait a sec, is, is there actually an answer? Or yeah. there is, okay. Yes. It even could be five, fünf. It's fünf. Fünf? Vier, fünf, six. Ah! Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, that, that's a... In, in German, in German, you know what we call that? We call that a Karlauer. Karlauer? Do, do you know the, the meaning of, of Karlauer? Uh, that's very difficult to, to translate, yeah. but, but a Karlauer is just that's... basically a very bad joke. Mm. <laughs> Still, this is the reason why... Still, it's a pretty good one. Yeah. I think it's a really, really good this one. This is why we are called Clark Nova 5 as a band, because it's a trio, and... Uh, <laughs> and that what's the, the difference missing, between you know? fear and that's sex? Fumf. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Clark, uh, do you, yeah. um, I'll just stick to English now, might as well. Um, do, do you want to tell us some, a bit more about your, your intimate relationship with the, with the country Finland? Or no, there's none such thing like there's an no intimate. There's such thing. There's Ixiulu and, and Satanas Perkele, and that's about it. I mean, that's it. That's it. Ixiulu, yeah. Yeah, I think that's more or less the way to order it. Yeah. And and have actually have have you only had uh, Finnish visitors? Or have you actually visited Finland? No, not yet. Um, still to come, but uh, I doubt it'll be soon because I, last year I discovered that going to the south of Europe is a fantastically good idea. Because yeah. there's the Alps, <laughs> which is good, and then after the Alps you have remarkably better weather. Yeah. So, so <laughs> it's, it's really... And that I never was really a big fan of summer things and stuff like that, but maybe it's... Maybe now. now. Now now's the, the time, time in your come. life. Yeah. Time has come. I start thinking about islands and, uh, you know, yeah, it's, it's, southern it's, Europe. You, you know, it's, it's, it's funny, you know, you know um, what do you call them, the um, Erland Oye, or I don't know how you pronounce it, Erland Oye from yeah. The Whitest Boy Alive yeah. and Kings yeah. of Convenience. Yeah. Yeah. He actually moved to Sicily like a couple of years ago. Smart move. And because yeah. he traveled all around the world, I think he lived in Japan for a while, yeah. and uh, and he went to Rio and didn't really like it, and just kept on traveling and moving, traveling yeah. and moving. And now he and now he got stuck. Well, not stuck there. He chose yeah. it, and he's in Syracuse, Syracuse, I think, in Sicily. Sicily is full of musicians then, so Hugo Reyes tends to be there as often as he as it's possible, it seems. So I I, th I think we should actually have a show in Sicily very soon. What do you guys I'm think? I think that's a good idea. Yeah. And, th and then we can then we can meet uh, meet up with Clark Nova, who'll be sitting there with his white hat, 
When and, I say uh, that. Yeah, and yeah. drinking everything in fives. Yeah. <laughs> five red wines, five beers. Jore, altre cinque bieder. Jore. Your next song. Okay. Um, this is a song with a cap on. Oh, no, you, do, you don't use the cap on this one. <clears throat> This is a song about. This song chose to. Um, it's about an old abandoned town in the desert. Oh. Where they used to make uh, cowboy films, cowboy and Indiana films. <laughs> Indiana. That's, a, that's a little one of those bad jokes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> in the night in the 1950s and stuff. So this is a song. It's called a Pioneer Pioneer Town. Great. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm still waiting for a story from from Joel. I'm, I'm not sure whether whether you, you have a quick story where where you start off somewhere in Slovenia and end up two days later uh, end up in Moscow. I mean, where you've never been. I know now, but uh, with Helga in a hotel room. Right? No, um, well, just a, a story that came into my mind about because we were talking about Berlin and we were talking about touring. Yeah. The re the reason that I ended up in Berlin is because of touring. Oh, really? I'd, I never planned to live here. I'd visited Berlin before and I'd always liked it, but I was on tour yeah. with a band in the late 90s. And we, we had a tour that went all the way down to Portugal at the end, but we broke down our car. No our way. van with all our gear in it broke down here. And I've been, I've been here ever since. You forgot to go home. <laughs> I, I didn't really, I was sort, sort of homeless at that time. I was 
it's kind of based in Bavaria, but the tour had started in Ireland and went through south of France, Italy, Hungary, and up to Berlin. We were having a nice time in Berlin. We had friends here, and then one day the the guitar player decided to fix the van when it wasn't broken. And that, and it never moved again. The van. Yeah. So, and it ended up being about this size. It got squeezed into the yeah. box. So oh, it's a, that's a kind of touring Berlin story. Yeah, touring Berlin, yeah. and, that, and yeah. then you just you just got stuck here. But it's yeah. it's been a good stick. There's, there's worse places to be stuck. Yeah, yeah I guess so. Yeah. yeah. Sicily could be nice to be stuck as well. Yeah. Berlin's alright. Fantastic. Thanks for sharing. Um, yeah. Uh, next up. We got another song. I think this we've one? got one more. Hmm? Okay, do you want to do a big time? Yeah. yeah. And you have a song called Big Time as well. Yeah. <laughs> we both have tunes called Big Time, right? Yeah. yeah. That's good. I like that one too. <laughs> Mine's registered. Is yours? <laughs> Which camera? Mine's registered. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I want Actually, yes, with camera, as a matter of fact. No, no, with Teosto. Oh, wait, yeah. It's different. Same thing. W which country is Teosto? <laughs> uh, it's Finland, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Finland, <laughs> Finland Publishing. Just a friend. Um, 
Are, are we gonna are we gonna jump directly to your big time? I think that's. I think that would be that like would it. be that would be another another bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's 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 just on the white keys. It's no, it's A. Beef for big time. Oh, B for big time. Oh wait a sec, wait a sec. Yours is from February seventeenth, two thousand twelve. Yeah. Uh. Or sort of. But that's when you is, put it down. Is, is that what is written there? Yeah. And how old's your your big time? 2010. Okay, so they win, man. You have to pay them. You have to pay dues. Nah. nah. All right. Let's see who'll die first. <laughs> the winner takes it all. Big time. Actually, there's two 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 ways to to play this song, and I haven't I haven't made up my mind, but I think I go for the old one. It's it's actually this song is about touring and finding homes on the way, like you did. And in that case, it's about uh, St. Pauli in Hamburg, which is like just like Kreuzberg, but somewhere else in the world. <laughs> and, uh, is it just like Kreuzberg? I'm, yeah, I would it, sort of it, doubt that. They behave slightly differently, yeah. but they mean the same things. Okay, ah, okay, I mean, they mean the same, yeah. And um, I tried to, tried to leave a bar, but the bartender said, wait, uh, there's something I'd like to ask you for, and it was money he was requesting. And, and, it seemed like I didn't have the appropriate amount of money on me uh, <laughs> in order to be released from the situation. So I offered um, that I could write a song for him. And uh, luckily he agreed upon that and said, okay, it's all cleared, but you have to write a song about uh, underground parking lots, how it's called, Tiefgaragen. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that, was, that was the only thing that I was asked for, so. This is big time in the original version, um, and it starts with a very famous place in Hamburg. Green hunters call the place as well the will repute. Last time I'd been there, I had to leave them in a hurry due to a raid. Big time when the ships go down. Big time when the ships go down. Big time was promised to myself it come on in the long run Last time I saw it, had to leave, run out of money due to the way it goes Big time when the landlord calls, yeah Big time when the landlord calls So I moved to the north so the wind can blow right through me Last night I took the train and left her and the worst how time was you Big time when the air's full of crime Big time when the air's full of crime I played the leper, reputation is built easily Until I found out no one sees me I'm just no there Big time when the drunk sailor drowns Big time when the drunk sailor drowns Home by the oven I sweep off the dust from my bones And tell myself there was no crown There was no thorns Big time when the ashes build a throne Big time when the ashes build a throne he who has fallen swiftly makes a decent hero They both look all the same due to the line, due to the angle Big time when the drowning sailor drinks Big time when the drowning sailor drinks So raise your glasses to that dark and shady night Who fought the dragon and succeeded in retrospect at least Big time when the sunk ship comes home Big time when the sunk ship Comes home Thank you. Big time. Big time. I think it's fantastic that we have two Two artists here today that both have a song called Big Time. Um, 
Actually, I've been stalking Alan for a while. He doesn't know it. <laughs> there might be <laughs> that, that would a couple be, more songs. That wouldn't there. even be yeah. scary. <laughs> um, do, you, do you actually know? Uh, well, you know Monty Python. You're familiar with Monty Python, aren't you? Uh, not, yeah, I know the movies. Okay, yeah. I don't know the movies. Well, I started watching them, and everybody yeah. hates me because I don't like them. Doesn't matter. But there is there is a song called Finland, 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 the place that I want to be. Yeah. You know yeah, that song? Yeah. yeah, I was made aware of it a couple of times. Yeah. yeah. I think I watched it on YouTube. Yeah, because I, I just had to think of you because this, this Finland and Clark Nova sort of stuck in my head. And now while I, <laughs> funny because I was listening to Big Time and for some reason there was this song that sort of sidetracked me there and it was Finland, Finland, Finland by Monty Python. I thought I'd share that with you. Big Time on the Finland, Finland, Finland. Yeah, <laughs> big, big Time in Finland. And, and I, I'm time pretty sure yeah. next time you come here because we always like to, like to invite our guests uh, for a second time. Well, I'm saying always, we haven't so far, <laughs> but, but, but that, that's what we're going to do, because this is only our fifth show, by the starts. way. Um, but I'm pretty sure next time you come, you'll be telling us great stories from Helsinki. You think so? I think so. I yeah. hope so. Anyway, uh, before we dig deeper into this discussion, um, you're on to your next song. Again. Again. Again, and yet another one. Yes. So this is a song, last week I... I played this in a in a bar, in in that one one uh, fabulous waterhole where where I tend to try. I, I tried drowning some sorrows in there the last month, and it did work. Um, <laughs> it's it's really a good concept. Um, and I wrote a couple of songs in there, and so it happens that of course people are, who are around you, uh, let's say for example a bartender, so somehow sneaks into songs. It's not about the people in person, but somehow they resemble an actual thing or idea or behavior, whatever you want to talk about. And, and uh, it happens that some of the new songs are pretty full of, uh, of uh, pretty full of, of, well, links to these people. And yeah. last week I played in the, spontaneously on Sunday evening, we played there, did, did a small concert, it was very, very nice. But it was also all these people out of my songs were sitting there and listening. And that was a really odd situation. I really, it's, it's a, and I thought they must find themselves. Did they notice? I, I'm not sure. <laughs> There's a couple of people who refused to talk to me. Afterwards, yeah. Yeah, but maybe it was because I left uh, early. They were, they, I don't know. So this one is Lou. It is. It is about. Um, it is. It is also. This song also goes out to Johnny Zabala, whom I met again a couple of weeks ago. Crazy Johnny Trouble. But he's doing well, I think. He's, he's about to move into a new studio and um, he's a big recommendation. Uh, if you ever see him playing, he's not playing live a lot these days, but if you see him playing Johnny Zabala, go and watch him. He's one of the best test, test, strange guys on stage I've ever seen. It's not Johnny now, is it? Johnny no, now? different guy. No, no, oh. no. Johnny Zabala. There's, there's no way of mistaking Johnny <laughs> with, anybody else. with anybody else. It just doesn't happen. He's, a natural phenomenon. Uh, <clears throat> it's unto what they say. Sometimes it don't know how good you are. Why happy? So, so to what they say right now, not even remotely aware of what I'm losing. But it's always true when you hear someone say, Things come ahead, some things might be disappearing. Most of the things are just passing by while loose sits at the counter asking for a book to read. All I keep a loop, all I keep a Bonobo on my shoulder, it offers one lucky boo. Oh, 
Oh, she had it all A childhood in the countryside With a sheep lamb I never could decide us Which you might have shit in time I need even Every time was right with a rubber band she might Well she had it home Was I to fall was a modern career Which is so nice Now she's waiting out the count Waiting for some people Might be waiting for to be soon Oh, lucky Pulu Oh, lucky Pulu And the tremor in my hands Just drives me crazy Lucky Pulu Try to unbreak a heart No matter which way You always find out It was broken before you got there Nothing's ever broken by chance Predetermined breaking point I'm wiser than I see Oh, lucky Pulu Oh, lucky Pulu And the monkey on her shoulder spits in my beer Hello, Johnny Lucky Pulu Thank you <laughs> Thank you for being so kind Thank you, Clark Nova, me. for being here uh, Clark, um, yeah. we, um, we not spoke to be about confused with Alto Nova. With Alto Nova? <laughs> no, yeah. Alto? Is that another Finn? Alto? <laughs> Alto Nova. <laughs> anyway. It's brother uh, of Api Mikola. <laughs> is it, yeah? So, yeah, he is. Does he have a bonobo on his shoulder, too? I don't know. I think everyone has. Everyone has, yeah. yeah. In a way. Chip? Is that a chip? Or? A chip? A chip on his shoulder? Yeah, like a, ch a chip, chip, a chip, chip right. chimpanzee. You mean like a? No, 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 no. no. A chip. You said everyone has. What, what were you? A bonobo. No, because because that was in his song. There's there's like a, a monkey on everybody's shoulder. Yeah, yeah. 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 Sometimes, yeah, yeah. sometimes it's a monkey on the shoulder. Sometimes it's a tremor, it's a tremor in your hands. It depends. Depends. <laughs> depends on on the day. Uh, Clark, you were. Um, I know that you were not touring, and you don't have gigs at the yeah. moment. You are yeah. basically. Uh, um, rearranging yourself with, with the band. I'm pretty sitting there and watching the walls. Now, um, <laughs> some things really it's strange great. happened. I've been having this band um, with just one member. It's Tom Diesel for the last 13 years. There was Johnny in the band, but which obviously it had to end at a certain point. Um, and obviously. Uh, so about for the last 12 years or so, it was there was no such thing as a band. There was the Clark Nova Five, with, which just consisted of Tom. And we figured Clark Nova 5 can't be a duo, it doesn't work, it's 5 and 2. Um, so it needs to be a 3-0. Yeah, a 3-0. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so, and, and we eventually bumped into this guy, um, which you I think know too, Giddy Fahi, the bass yeah. player. He was playing for the Hunters and we met for this matinee thing. And during the first rehearsal it was really like we... we Actually, when I saw him on stage first, I said, like, that's a handsome bass player. He looks good. I want to have a bass player exactly like this one. <laughs> and um, same model, same thing, you know, I take it. And uh, so, so a year later, there was this rehearsal with the Hunters, and then we, 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 we directly could connect, yeah. and we were rehearsing, not rehearsing, we were really playing together. Yeah. And uh, so yet another year later, so he was in the band, uh, Free Will. 
I think the first band member ever who decided decided to want to, to want to be a part to of be it. Be yeah. part of it, you know, and uh, and so so uh, we we've we've worked a lot on on uh, uh, the new songs, some new songs, and did uh, in Culture Container did a live recording event, okay. which went fabulously well because um, we wanted it to have uh, like a studio session, but with audience. So not a live concert, but we wanted to switch it around and there were about between 50, 40, 50, 60 people maybe in the first night and, and uh, so it was pretty packed in there yeah. um, and still it worked. We could stop a song and play again. It was after a while I realized that this was also expected because everyone came for for a recording session and not for a concert. It was a very nice, fantastic atmosphere. Everyone was prepared. Everyone got drunk. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Everyone was prepared and got drunk. Yeah. Yeah. And it was it was a fantastic night. And so we were we were working on that a lot. And now we have the recordings. Uh, I haven't listened to them. I don't know if I will listen to them. Um, well, that's a different story. Uh, and now we're we we're, we're figuring out ways to to get it out talk to a lot of people and I have the idea I would like to yeah. carry it out of Berlin and, but maybe not maybe we'll see so this is about a bit about groundwork and okay uh, so you're, you're working on it we're working on <laughs> it just you working know? on it the money's on its way um, <laughs> it's not about the money no no I wired out. it uh, it must be there any minute you know I'm, okay. I'm sorry uh, no, do, do we do we actually have your because because you you showed me your um, yeah yeah your I vinyl I doubt it's here no, it's outside it's outside um, yeah no oh, yeah no yeah you could you could yeah you could go and get it it's got a very nice cover I've got one it's got yeah. a great cover yeah. it's in a way it's you know sometimes you tell stories about smoking on animals and stuff like that yeah yeah and you say nice that this guy is telling these stories but you know I'm not going to believe it it's just just crazy shit yeah. he's just making it up to give the whole situation sort of a substance on stage you but, know, but the difference with you is that it actually happened to you it, it happens you know yeah. we, we do these things all the things in our songs actually do happen uh, even if there are animals dying it happened exactly <laughs> yeah. that way no, never work with animals <laughs> never work with kids because they might die and uh, all animals that died during the production of our uh, musical works um, they died for thank you they died for uh, can you say culinary reasons Remember, look at this is that possible culinary oh, culinary culinary yeah, yeah. What, what is it C culinary? culinary culinary that's a complicated word that doesn't really fit well into my German pigeon English <laughs> <laughs> the German <laughs> pigeon English uh, yeah yeah, uh, we, and that's Lotta, and she's she's still alive. Yeah, we okay. can just have a look at uh, at, at the front cover yeah. with um, Clark Nova sitting on a donkey. No yeah. donkeys were harmed in the course of this production, by the way. Um, did the monkey? Uh, the monkey? Or did I just say monkey? No, the donkey. You said that, yeah. <laughs> talking about Bonobo so much. Yeah, it's yeah, but don't, don't, don't get people confused. I mean, that's Lotta. She's the first animal ever to be born in Kinderbahnhof Görlitzer Park in Kreuzberg. April 13th, 1999, which was about the time when I entered the city. And um, so she was waiting there about 12 or 13 years until I came <laughs> in the need of a donkey, uh, directly after a hailstorm when the skies cleared up and uh, they handed me the key to the donkey and said, have a good ride. And, and I, I had my pockets full of carrots. And Is this a carrot? Yes, it, it looks ah, a bit like something else. It looks like a Wurst, actually. Yeah, it could be. A Wurst. <laughs> Some people have different associations. It was too early in the year. We didn't have one with the greens on it, you know. It that was, would have been... It was a carnivorous, carnivorous donkey, which no, is a, a no. fleisch, fleisch yeah. donkey. Is she, I think, so yes, because there was this specific moment when she realized, I don't get the carrot unless that guy is down. When so he's you had down, to get off. I can get it. And uh, so she was working hard on it. Fantastic. So this is basically the last one, but you you still have some. These this is for promotional use only, right? Yeah. Non-sellable, no barcodes on it. Oops. No, no, this is promotional use only, and it's never been sold to anyone in this world. So, but but then, uh, Clark, I'd say um, we're going to be uh, looking forward to seeing you after your trip to Helsinki, and uh, you know your next uh, yeah. your next production uh, to come onto our show again. Thank you very much. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. And. Um, the lo-fi duo, you're going to play one more song uh, for us, and then... Are we? I, th I thought there was going to be a finale. 
There is going to be a finale, but but, okay. but uh, wasn't there one more song? Yeah, there's a song. Are we going to play one more song? Yeah, or should we K-pop. should we skip to the finale? No, we got we have one more song basically. Okay. Um, do you you guys are you, are you going to be playing? Um, in the near future now, like yes, uh, actually, in the next couple this is of Thursday, months. isn't it? Is today Thursday? It's Thursday, the sixth of November. Absolutely right. Oh, John. right. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> um, I wonder why yes. it's called. Yeah. Uh, um, it's so early. In the we're playing evening. tomorrow. That's yeah. the seventh of November. I think he means. That is right. He means. Uh, oh yeah, it's tomorrow, yeah, isn't it? Tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Art Stalker. That's right. That's uh, in. It's a, a nice place in Charlottenburg. Oh, Art yeah? Stalker. Uh, and then on Saturday. We're playing at Rotabita, which is a great bar in Schöneberg. Rotabita? Yeah, I've yeah. heard of that. Yeah, we're playing there as a duo. Okay, great. Friday night is with the band, was with Boris, our drummer. Okay. And uh, as a duo in Rotabita, which is a good old smoky, smoky bar. A smoky place for yeah. Clark. Yeah. And, uh, By the way, Joe uh, is the bass player in the band. Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah we're a trio, and mm. he obviously plays guitar because he, he does yeah. a lot of gigs as a solo. Yeah. And we do duo gigs. and. But then, but then, as a duo, but but this is this is your duo setup. Like you don't you don't yeah, have with, a, a bass with, well. with the electric gig, which will be like tomorrow in Art Stalker. Um, it will be bass, guitar, drums. Okay, great. And lots of singing. Very rock and roll. Very rock and roll. Yeah, g- good good uh, setup. Like the basic setup. But um, where where can we read about this? Do, do you have a Facebook page for the? Sure for the yeah, this yeah. is like Inside Tracks the tomorrow, inside right? Inside Tracks. Yeah. Okay, great. Mm-hmm. Inside Tracks guy, look uh, guys, look it up on Facebook. Um, yeah, there's a go. song called Same Old Lie. I was trying to write a Buck Owens song with this one, and I don't think it came out like that at all. It came out something different, but it's called Same Old Lie. All right.
Ja, um, should I really skip the German now? Ja, bit of German for the end. Uh, wir sind schon wieder am Ende angekommen. Uh, tausend Dank, dass ihr dabei wart. Uh, hier bei Indiana Music für Tippi. Uh, herzlichen Dank an Twin FM, die uns das ermöglicht haben, an Alex TV selbstverständlich für die Ausstrahlung. Um, so great to have you here, really fantastic, fantastic to hear you play. Clark, I'll be seeing more of you, I have this weird feeling. In Helsinki. <laughs> in Helsinki or, in, or in, in bars around Berlin, I don't know why. Um, I'm really looking forward to having you guys back again, you know, in a couple of months hopefully. Um, you as well, after your trips. Clark, I'm looking forward. Um, guys, we were, uh, you, you, listen, you spoke uh, a couple of, no, how do, how do I put this? There was a line and I heard you say that line was and I asked you what song it was and it was Secret Agent Man. Oh yes, yeah. Are you guys still up for playing that? Well, yeah. I, well, think, I think we should. If right. Clark sent to so, it. Can, can we swap guitars? Um, yeah. Wir this one is an Should I hold your guitar so yeah, yeah. long, yeah? Please. I'm just going to sing this one. I'll, I'll actually. Yeah. Wir beenden jetzt uh, die Show mit uh, Secret Agent Man. My legs are too Spontaneous. Lee. <sighs> Vielen Dank. Do you know, by the way, who wrote that song? It was one of the professional um, songwriters, right? Uh, 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 Did I, you say it? Johnny, Johnny something? Well, Johnny Rivers had, he played it. had a, yeah. the hit, but I, for, I have a feeling it was a it 50s him. tune. Yeah. yeah. So it's probably Joe, one of you should know that. Joe knows. Yeah. So, so Mr. Oh, Trivia, Mr. Joe, yeah. you're slipping. So I, I let you, down. you know the song very well, though. <laughs> it was kind of a, it was kind of an American hit. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. They didn't play it like in Glasgow. Easy listening, wasn't it? Sort of an easy listening tune. Maybe they yeah, Johnny Rivers. He's the guy who had that yeah. the other hit called Poor Side of Town. Do you know that one? No, he hasn't got that close to So anyway, should I just... There you go. There's a man who leads a life of danger To everyone he meets, she sees a stranger Oh, with every move he makes, chances that he takes are you won't live to see tomorrow. Secret agent man, secret agent man, they've given you a number now that she can weigh your name. faces you may find A pretty face can hide an evil mind Oh, be careful what you say Or you'll give yourself away Harder you won't live to see tomorrow Secret agent man Secret agent man They've given you a number now that you can weigh your name. Secret Asian man, secret Asian man, they've given you a number now that he can weigh your name. Strolling on the Riviera one day, lying in the Bombay Alley. Why you kiss him persuasive lips 
departure you won't live to see tomorrow secret agent man secret agent man they've given you a number now they're taking